Hi, my name's Robin. I'm Matt. And today we're going to talk about five tips to help you get started with backpacking with your kids. The first tip that I, we have for you today is to hike and walk with your kids regularly. Yeah, we started hiking with the boys. Our boys are seven and nine now, and we started hiking with them really early. I think they started going on hikes with us basically as soon as they could walk. We start really short and then just kind of work their way up. I mean, really short meaning less than a mile. We really started yeah. to push them as they got as they got older, just, just slowly but surely just kept on having them hike. Right, we would take them to a nature trail. It was maybe a mile loop, if that, yeah. and um, just made it part of their regular routine. So when we were finally ready to actually get started on backpacking, we had them pretty much used to putting in one to three miles, I think, was our first trip. And we made it a big deal. Like when, I mean, when they were really young and, and they got done, if they made the whole mile, I think when they were two, if they made the whole mile, without having to be carried, then we made it a big deal. And they got a reward and they got you know, a big pet on the back. So they just learned from a really early age. When you do take them, start small and make every little, you know, even if it's 500 yards, make it a victory. Mm -hmm. Make them yeah. really proud and say, look what you did. And they'll just keep pushing themselves at that point, really. Number two, uh, we're gonna talk about is, we're gonna is talk about safety with your kids. Uh, this is really important in the in the wilderness, especially the further you, further out you go. So the more you talk about it, the earlier on, I think the better. Right. We would talk with our kids about safety and avoiding getting lost, and then be part of the routine conversation at dinner, how to avoid getting lost, what to do if you get lost. Mm -hmm. As well, as far as getting lost goes, we always have our kids when we go on a hike either a day hike or a backpacking trip, we always have them wearing a whistle around their necks to avoid getting lost that way. As well, regarding safety, we talk about wildlife safety. Mm -hmm. Avoid running in areas where there could be mountain lions. We live in Colorado, so mountain lions are a concern. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty good at looking. You, you, you know, you get out in the mountains a lot and you start to recognize the, the signs, so you see mountain lion tracks. You keep them close. We, we call it, uh, what do you call it? A wild animal formation or something if there's an animal close they go between us mm -hmm. and then they also it, we tighten up so everybody comes in pretty pretty close and um and we just we just kind of have we heighten our senses and we kind of look around a lot more and other safety items like we, we don't have fires very often campfires very often but we talk about that um we talk about why we don't have them very often when we do have them we're pretty safe with it and uh we also tell them you know what happens if mom or dad get hurt what do they do mm -hmm. um so we teach them how to do that kind of stuff. We have we always carry a um, a GPS signaling device. It's called a Garmin InReach, and um, that way we could uh, call for help if we need to anywhere in the world. Our third tip for getting started with backpacking with your kids is to avoid overthinking gear. A lot of people who are into backpacking love to look at their gear list. They love to look at every ounce that all of their gear weighs, um, and in reality when you're getting gear for your kids your kids will outgrow anything that you get for them in about five minutes yeah. and so try not to overthink it or overspend it right you can always get synthetic shirts and often synthetic pants like um like warm-up pants or something like that from goodwill mm -hmm. and um you might need to buy some things directly from the store but a lot of times you can get those things on clearance too because kids wool socks smart wool darn tough whatever you want to get they're often on sale um, and then when it comes to a sleeping bag when we started out we had it's just an old the old regular sleeping bag it was really heavy but we weren't going very far and it's you know it didn't cost very much but it just helped us to get an mm -hmm. idea of like yes we like we love backpacking with our kids and then eventually we did buy up and we've gotten them lightweight down quilts but when you're getting started out um, your kids gear is going to be relatively heavy for how small your kids are but you're not going to go any significant distance yeah. you're not putting in 20 mile days with your kids so no. you can carry that extra weight for a few miles if if you're doing that for a day yeah and you know just keep it keep it really simple and don't i mean you want to i mean some things like um a tennis ball can be a great addition to kids gear 
because it keeps them occupied or, or a deck of cards or something fun like that. You know, just try not to keep the, too many the different things. And you know their first pocket knife when they get a little older, that's fun for them too. Right. And that, you know that'll that'll keep them occupied for hours. They just love being out. There. Oh yeah. Fourth tip. Fourth tip is to make plans for an easy overnight. So if you, if if it's your first season backpacking with your kids and you want to get out there, and I know you you're probably like us, you're really excited, you want to get the miles in, you wanted to go see really cool places. Well, just let all that go. <laughs> okay. So you start out one mile, two miles in the first time. That's it, because you're going to be carrying too much gear. Because you have another kid, you have a kid. The kid, the kid's not going to carry anything at first. I don't care how old the kid is. If he, if he's under ten, if he or she is under ten, they're not carrying any of their own gear in the first few times. Um, I mean, you could try, but you know, more, but, maybe just a small day pack, carrying yeah. a few items. But you'll be carrying like their sleeping bag. Yeah, or, and that's and that's fine. I think just make it make it super easy and super simple, so that it's it's a really enjoyable experience for them, and so that they want to go again. And then our fifth tip for getting started with backpacking with kids is don't be afraid to cancel or reschedule if you need to for the sake of weather. Um, if they've never been backpacking before and they don't know what to expect, if you take them out for 24 hours of rain, they're going to be miserable <laughs> and they're going to hate it and they're never going to want to go again. So Or sleep or hail or any yeah, of the things we've that we've encountered. Things. <laughs> so... As they get older and more experienced mm -hmm. with backpacking, you can take them out there and get out in the rain. And they're going to realize, okay, you know, rain is just part of it. But um, if they've never been before, if it's raining, just go another day. Pick a different day. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So those are our five tips for getting started with backpacking with your kids. We hope you've enjoyed our video. And make sure you have fun out there. We thank you for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. For other content, check out our blog at littlebackbreakers.blogspot.com.